What is up, everybody? Doing a little black wall, not splitting. See a different contrast between yesterday. See how it's faint there. We got real yellow. I mean, this wood feels wet. Hoping to burn it here in the next, at the end of winter. A lot of wood to go. This whole pile. And then, I still got a nine foot log up there. I might turn into boards. And then all that, and then some up in this area you can't even see. Come! Famous firewood dog. Let's get to ripping.
So I went up and got a load for my property of uh, eight foot long core pallets. In the paper industry, when you buy cores, you know, the cores that your toilet paper holder goes in, this is what they come on. Eight foot skids or whatever you buy. Those are those are 80 inches. These are 96. Um, now these little pallets are nice because they uh, the the stuff that you make the cores with comes on these. So when we buy cores, it comes on this. When we buy the paper that we make cores out of, it comes on these. And they weigh about 3,500 pounds. The rolls are about yay big. They take this whole pallet. Um, those are made out of red oak, most of them. There's heavy lumber. Come back here. Come. 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 I said come. Come. Um. They're made out of red oak mostly. They're hard, hard as a rock, heavy too. Little suckers are heavy. Then we'll lay them down like I have here. Two of those pallets high into this hill. That's how I split a bunch of this. I'm gonna move this rock and cut that stump lower. And we'll lay more pallets, two more in here. Because this whole thing's gonna get filled. And then I'm gonna bring two across the front like that is right there and that would have filled this whole section but I gotta get rid of this firewood so I can lay them down here right to there and then they'll go into here so this rock's gotta get pushed down there uh, that's gonna go in my next hole but I don't have the hole finished yet uh, there was a black walnut in that hole black walnut stump I'm burning on the other side of the house that's probably wasn't quite the size of that but the root the root system on it I don't know that hole is probably six foot across uh, I had to go on Google and look it up on the street view looking towards this house back in I don't know 2010 2012 to see how big the tree was because that tree was removed um, I burned the stump last year in the wood stove so a lot of nice firewood and black walnut I mean it breaks my heart to burn it but that stump that log right up there It's a beautiful piece of lumber. I got past that one wonky hole. I might make some six foot, three inch thick boards for a table my wife wants. Uh, you can see it's a monster. 25 inches on the stump. favorable lean with the leg so just put a few wedges in it oh Henzel the firewood dog what you doing buddy huh I got some monster firewood to get down this grade right there was where we were splitting wood so, I mean, it's a hell of a hill. But that's it. Split a few rounds and hang out. I think I've been working on this tree for a week. From over there, the tips landed into this hill. So, it's a good... 
I don't know what that is, 70, 80 feet tall. I mean, that one's a monster too. I'm gonna take that one down next. When I'm ready, I'm not ready for another big mess, obviously, because, you know, I mean, it has a big, big tree. A lot, a lot of little stuff. I'm even saving the two inch wood. Um, I split it so small because my my wife and my mother and you know my mom's gonna be 75 this year so she sits here all day with the kids during the week you know you don't want your your mom <laughs> bending over putting in huge pieces of firewood it'll kill her plus I got a bad back so that's why i built this ramp and i use those carts from amazon to load my firewood in uh i don't remember the numbers i think one cart is 5.8 cubic feet so it was like 0, 0.0 something of a cord which is a lot of wood each one of those carts takes i don't know five to eight armfuls of wood when i call it an armful of wood is you know pieces like this stuffed in your arm you know you're gonna get five or six seven maybe eight pieces so they those carts handle a lot of wood uh i think i paid $67 for each one of those carts so it's a hundred and thirty-four dollars for two carts you can't build those carts for that kind of money you just can't so uh, till the next video I'm not gonna waste anybody's time with splitting all this wood and moving these pallets and this and that because y'all seen it before go watch somebody else do it if you want that I'd rather show you dropping them and splitting the tough pieces like that branch union. That's a haggard piece of wood there, boy. That grain. It definitely burned good. Peace out. Get out there. Get off your butt. Start learning new skills. You're going to need them because you will own nothing and be happy.